Hi there, and welcome to another episode of 411 Pop Culture, where real people talk about really everything. I'm Justin Steele, and with me is Danielle Almendra, and we are continuing on our VC Andrews theory videos where we focus on some of the villains please don't forget to catch the other episodes where we talk about who were the worst grandparents who were the worst parents and in this episode we are discussing who are the worst siblings uh primarily we're focusing from the darling Ginger series through the landry series and we'll get right we'll get started right off the bat with the darling Gangers, we have Christopher, we have, um, I mean, Corey and Carrie were darling. They had, obviously, Carrie had a lot of issues, but she was terrific. She was a good sister. She took care of uh, Jory when he was a baby. Yep. Christopher had a lot of issues. He struggled a lot with his mother kind of yep. abandoning, abandoning him, and then Kathy becoming a mother figure to the twins in which he was the father. And then yep. he did this horrifying thing, and it was horrifying. Yep. Um, again, the film adaptation, well, the original film adaptation sidestepped the whole incest. This film, the latest life Lifetime film adaptation made it seem more of a mutual, uh, almost like Kathy was like, hey, it's good, yeah. let's do it. In the novels, Christopher raped Kathy. No ifs, ands, or buts about yeah. it. He loved her, he supported her, but he, he manipulated her. He made her feel yeah, guilty. Yeah. You know, he ended up being a good father and all this stuff, but he did kind of... When you're reading the novels, you want Bart to just accept Christopher, but Bart does have some valid yeah. points. Bart Jr. and so uh but what do you think about Christopher? I mean he raped his sister yeah. but that aside I think overall like in the guilt obviously but Kathy did end up being with him. Yeah. And they raised her children. She loved him till the end. She and she put like she stuck by him over her children's For feelings. Sure. Yeah. Um, so I think that, you know, and they were in a horrible situation where they had to become parents and they were kind of forced into this going through puberty with only each other and stuff like that. So minus the rape, I hate to say that, I don't want to minimize that, but right. the guilt, but overall in general as a good brother, he was there to protect her. He took a couple right. meetings for her, stuff like yeah. that, helped her get the tar out of her hair. He knew what he did was wrong yeah. and it does, that doesn't in and itself make it right by any means, mm -hmm. but at least he did try to become a protector yeah. of the rest from then on yeah. out mm -hmm. and then uh we have vera from my sweet audrina who was awful yeah. but when we discussed our my sweet audrina review we discussed how the nice thing about vc andrews novels that were written by virginia cleo andrews was that she had these sort of well-rounded villains yeah. they were villains that did the worst stuff but there was always sort of a motivating yeah. factor they weren't just villains for to be villain sakes and vera is one of the most complex yeah. villains. She she maybe does the most horrifying act to Audrina out of jealousy, but it is out of jealousy because she comes from, you know, thinking she's less than and the you know, she herself was still a child at the time, but you know, she does set up Audrina to be raped because of she wants to be the golden child and no matter what she does, she can't be perfect. But again, what she did was just the worst. And then she goes on she again. She does try to get Audrina to know the truth. She does, yes. A and bit. she does. But then she also tries to steal Audrina's husband, Arden. Right. She tries to kill Audrina by having Sylvia take the fall. So it's sort of like getting, you know, two birds, one stone, getting rid right. of both of them. So Vera is one of the worst. She is, you know, she's she awful. there may be some factors that could like you understand where she's coming from, but we all have to make our own choices in the end. And uh, I always remember her like wanting like the riches and fame because she wants to still be young and beautiful, yeah. which is obviously a, a trope, a theme of these V.C. Andrews novels with some of the women. Uh, some of the the women. Was there anything else you wanted to say about Vera? No, I think you covered yeah, that one. I think so. So I'm I'm really interested to get into the Castile uh, siblings. Obviously, we yeah. have you know Tom and you know the the twins, the little one or not the twins. Um, R. Jane and Keith yes, though yes, were yes, practically yes. yeah. They were basically yeah. twins. They were so close. Anyway, so they were okay. And then you have Fanny. Fanny's the worst. She is She's the, one of the worst. Yeah. worst. I, I, she, I think she redeems herself quite a bit in Gates of Paradise with her relationship with Annie. But she put heaven through hell, who was already going through hell. You know, she was neglected from Luke. She was close to Tom. And the thing is, is that she was close to Fanny at times, yeah. which makes some of the things that Fanny did later on so awful. Because Fanny, again, no accountability, something we've talked about in the other episodes. Yeah. 
no accountability. It was always heaven's fault. Every problem Everything Fanny had had fault. to be heaven's fault, you know. Even when she like she gave up her baby or yeah. sold it to the Reverend, and some crappy things happened to Fanny. Obviously, she Awful was abandoned by her parents. Yeah, she was also starved. She did like to rub it in heaven's face a lot with the Luke relationship. Right. So that was crappy. Then, yeah, just all of that. So I think just overall, like, yeah, and again, like you said, the complexity of these characters, like, you can sympathize a little bit to the situation, but at the same time, like, there was no reason they have to take all that out on Heaven and be right. so nasty to her. And then when Heaven becomes, like, rich, you know, farling man, that just like exacerbated all of it. Yeah, well, Fanny's like, like I'm entitled to all me. of it. I'm you entitled know? to all of it. And you know, it really did come down to money for Fanny because when, it, yeah. when Drake, the whole trial thing, once Heaven offered Fanny a million dollars, Fanny was like, okay, good, because now I have, now I can feel yeah. uh, I'm as good as you, yeah. and now mm -hmm. it doesn't matter. Which thing goes to show she really didn't care about Drake, yeah. you know. But again, Fanny, for his, she did start off as an okay character who had some like villainy, qual like sibling obnoxious qualities that then you know, became evolved into these horrifying characteristics. Right. She cheated on where she had Logan cheat with yep. with her and anything to hurt heaven yep. who really only ever wanted to help Fanny. Yep. Uh, and then Fanny projected constantly like her bad behavior that it must be heaven's bad yep. behavior. But again, have, Fanny does make up for a lot with gates of paradise when she comes to Annie's yep. rescue mm -hmm. and accepts Annie and wants to do the best for She's her. She's trying to redeem herself. Yeah. And obviously, Tom, we talked about, uh, We yeah. this was something we thought about later on in life that, you know, Tom may have possibly been Heaven's true love. You know, they really weren't related. He really had nothing but love for uh, Heaven. But that's going to sort of uh, lead us to the Cutler series because yeah. I think that's going to be sort of a thing. As we've discussed in the other episodes, Danielle hasn't really read the Cutler series in a while, so I did kind of fill her in a little bit. But Dawn, the Cutler series, we have Jimmy, Fern... We have Clara, Sue, Philip. There's some really bad siblings in there. You know, Jimmy on the surface seems like he's a, he's a great brother, but really there's some iffy stuff in there. So, like Tom and Heaven, after they found out they were siblings, it never became anything more. No. And they didn't really have any sort of like VC Andrews qualities of like, they really didn't. That's my brother over there, and I kind of have a crush on him. <laughs> Jimmy and Don, they were, and now again, now, but they, the, the Castiles all slept in one room too. Yeah. But Don and Jimmy had to sleep in a, like, fold out couch <laughs> together. And there were times where, you know, Jimmy would, like, pull away because he felt something. And Don kind of felt something. Even though they weren't related, they knew, th th they didn't know that at the time, so they think. But I'm going to get back to that in a minute. You have Philip and Clara Sue. Clara Sue was Don's bully. And went on to do some horrifying things. Philip was Don's boyfriend who became her brother. And, you know, he raped her once. I think he tried to rape her again. He, I think he did rape Christy. Like, he was... In the novels, in the later novels, there were a lot of, like, attempted rapes that didn't go through. Philip's did. Yeah. And they were pretty traumatic and horrifying. So he was one of the worst siblings. Clara Sue, though, and Fern of the Cutlers did some horrifying things. Fern would, like, had faked that she had been molested by her yeah. adopted parents. And then, you know, but sort of mesmerized Jimmy to betray Dawn time and time yeah. again. And would stick up for uh, Fern over Dawn. And Fern ended up becoming one of Christie's main villains in her novel. She was supposed to be there for her as a cousin, but ended up, like, betraying her. But Clara Sue, I think, is actually one of the worst of the siblings. We talked about it beforehand. Uh, Clara Sue, she, you know, was awful to Don in, in school. Then, because Clara Sue came, her whole life grew up thinking Eugenia or Dawn, this kidnapped daughter, she was the golden child. I was I was the, the fill-in, the second best. She's always hated Dawn, even yeah. before she knew her. But it did lead her to treating Dawn like crap before she knew that, after she knew that, betrayed Dawn with Jimmy when Jimmy was hiding there, set Jimmy up to be caught, this boy who has nothing right now and is all messed up. Then she ends up, keeps setting up Dawn to be in trouble. Then she kidnaps Dawn's daughter at one point or takes her on this joyride. She ha causes Dawn to have a miscarriage. You know, Dawn gets Christy back, gets pregnant. Clara Sue comes in and just like punches her in the gut. Miscarriage. So I think Clara Sue's up there. But what about you, Danielle, about the Cutler series? 
because I think you had some strong issues about Jimmy when we were talking about it, about, again, Jimmy, he kept siding with Fern. I always really liked Jimmy the first time I read it, but as an adult reading it, I kind of think Jimmy's not the greatest guy, and especially in Twilight's Child, but you were kind of commenting about the inappropriateness of the relationship yeah, even like, before. I don't know, I just, you know, you think about it, you know, you've got a sibling, and you're like, this is my sibling, and then you find out they're not. I don't think that, like, switches how you feel about right, them. Right, right. Like, I would be like, that's still my brother. And right. he'd be like, that's still my sister. Like, yeah. so why is all of a sudden... Like, like Tom and Heaven, you know? Yeah, like, like, they never did that. Even right. though we kind of talked about that in one of our episodes. Yeah. Now when we're talking about Cutler, I'm like, well, maybe that wasn't the case. Well, and because it was happening even before they found out exactly. about it. Like, that yeah. there was, like, a sort of tension between them. Like, yeah. Don would be like, Jimmy always pulls away when he feels he touched my bare leg. And it's sort of like, why? Like... Why is he having any sort of like Maybe it you was know, to set us up to know that they really weren't? I guess and so, and that's possible. That's the only thing I can yeah, think of. That's possible. Um, but yeah, that was uh, Clara Sue. When you told me about that, Clara Sue and Philip were pretty horrible. They were the, they were the worst. Well, again, Philip's one of the worst. But you know, it's weird to me that like so Dawn meets Philip, who she does not know who she's related to, yeah. and and has feelings for him, is attracted to him. But as soon as she is like, yeah. that's my brother, it turns off right away. Yeah. But this boy that she always thought her was her brother, even beforehand, there was sort of like yeah. a, a thinner line of like, well, maybe. So again, Philip was, was weird. the worst and awful, 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 Claire awful. Claire Sue's up there too. But who? Claire Sue. Oh, Claire Sue, I think might be yeah. the worst for me. Like Claire yeah. Sue non-stop i mean i do appreciate that the ghostwriter did try to give her some motivating factors of like i've always hated dawn yeah. because of this but clara sue did some horrifying things she had it all you know we all have things that we wish we had better in our lives but clara sue yeah. had it all and threw it away constantly and then yeah. everything was dawn's fault what about the uh, the laundry series giselle. we have giselle and paul yeah. And, yeah, I mean, you know, Paul... Paul, oh, my, I don't yeah. want to know. So, oh, yeah, so it's like you find out somebody's your sibling, and it's that should be the reaction <laughs> is to cut it off. Right, Like, yeah. this is wrong. Yeah. And Ruby really fought him on that, yeah. and this dude could not let her go. Yeah. Like, let her go! And it was so obnoxious. I remember having that reaction when we watched the Lifetime series and when we talked about yeah. this in our adaptation videos, but... I, you want to love him, but it's like, you could have had such a great life, you know, and he just threw it away for her. Well, Ruby going back to the bayou, though, when she did, she, I don't think she went back for Paul, but she did accept his offer. And again, yeah. it was to protect her child, to protect this, but she was setting Paul up yeah. for this. He, clearly, he was, like, not over right. Ruby, and clearly he still had issues, so she did kind of allow him, True. you know, to, to keep the fantasy alive. Oh, absolutely. And obviously, Giselle, too, you know, I could not imagine somebody, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I live my life, I'm the only child, I have everything, and then somebody who looks just like me yeah. pops up. I, I think Giselle does have some very real reactions to that. Mm -hmm. However, I, I always, Giselle was one that I always wished would have yes. came through to, like, yes. I finally accept like this is your twin sister yeah. there's no doubt about it yeah. and i i thought that the adaptation of the laundry series did a really fine yeah. job with the sibling like the the real life siblings mm -hmm. how they portrayed these fictional siblings and i felt like even though they never the, the, they never transcended to become real sisters in the in the story I did feel like Ruby had a better understanding of Giselle, and it was, you felt for the fact that Giselle never got to understand Ruby, really. Yeah. And the novels never really got to that level, I no. felt like. So Giselle did some horrible things. I mean, she made Ruby think Paul no longer cared for her, mm -hmm. and made Paul think that Ruby no longer cared for him. Uh, but I don't know, I feel like maybe the, the like 16-year-old in me could understand the fact of like, hey, I... I'm dating this person oh first, and now my sister took him, so, yeah. wait, he was mine first, you know, but then when you, you get a little older, you're like, wait a minute, I wasn't with him, I didn't care about him, Giselle was never going to have that sort of, like, death. Yeah, I don't, um, I don't think Giselle did anything so egregious yeah. as, like, just, like, some sibling rivalry, obviously, right. to another level, but, like, not as egregious as some of these other ones that oh, we absolutely. talked about. Yeah. You know, and she did, you know... Go and get, did she get bit by a bug? Is that what happened? Like something like yeah, that. Yeah, she like, contracted that. And then from she died. Skill. I mean, yeah. well, and I like that she didn't really. I, I'm sure maybe once she kind of threw off like the, yeah. hey, you don't want anybody to know about what you've got going on with Paul here, your fake thing. Mm -hmm. But she never went through that. Yeah. She never did try to like 
cause Ruby's and Paul's relationship to be revealed. Yeah. She was letting her sister... I do think Giselle genuinely wanted to be close to Ruby, but her her hesitance, her id, the, yep. the id within her, wouldn't let her get past her primal, like, jealousies. Yes. Even though, really, she did want a relationship. Yeah. You know, they had a yeah. big problem with her being from the bayou. Oh, yeah. So... So who do you think's the worst? I think that Clara Sue is the worst. I think that she did some horrible, horrible things. I think Vera did some horrible things too. Vera did the the worst thing she did when she was like ten or eleven or twelve, and um, you know, but then did some horrible things as an adult when she should have known better. But at that point, she was just gone. But I think Clara Sue uh, think never that's... was was always just awful. I think I'm gonna change my mind on this one. I was with you with the Clara Sue thing, mm -hmm. but I think I'm gonna go with Vera. Yeah, Vera was pretty. Like I setting mean, up the rape at that yeah, young age, yeah, like yeah. that's even malicious. If, even if you feel bad, like yeah, these, like the actual VC Andrews was yeah. able to to give you a motivation, if you will, for yeah. Vera. It still doesn't justify what she did. And again, even even that was the worst thing she did. But as an adult, she tried to murder Audrina yeah. after stealing her husband and trying to like and blame it on this other little girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vera's one of the, the worst. Vera's one of the worst. I, the I think worst. Clara Sue and Vera. <laughs> Clara Sue and Vera ought to go bowling together sometime. <laughs> right? Do each other's nails. I don't know. But uh, what do you all think out there? Who, uh, who did you think was the worst sibling? Please don't miss our other episodes about who were the worst grandparents, who were the worst parents. Please add your comments below if you think it's somebody else, if you have some people we didn't mention, because again, we're not as familiar with some of the yeah. later, later novels. Thanks again for watching another episode of 411 Pop Culture, where real people talk about really everything. Thanks, Danielle, for joining me for these episodes, and uh, we'll see you all soon. Three, two, one. Thank you. Or three, two, one. Well, I have to yawn I now. Know. I knew there was double whammy coming. Stop. Just stop because let me yawn. Don't watch me. I'm not watching you. I'm looking at me. Where's you? <laughs> I can't yawn now. It's going to happen. All right. Maybe it went away. All right. All right. It's going to happen. You're going to get pissed. Don't fine. get pissed when it happens. Three, two, one. John Amos.